The Washington Commanders had a rough season in 2023, ending with only four wins and 13 losses. They missed the playoffs again. That's a long time of struggling and underachieving. It was also the last season for their head coach, Ron Rivera, who couldn't get the team to win more than eight games in any season. The Commanders used to be called the Redskins and then the football team, but they changed their name again in 2022. They have faced a lot of challenges and disappointments over the years, but they also have a chance to turn things around. They have the second pick in the draft, which means they can get a new quarterback who can make a big difference. They also have five more picks in the first 106, so they can add a lot of talent and depth to their roster. The next season could be very different for the Commanders, with a lot of new faces and hope. The most important thing for any NFL team today is to have a great quarterback, and the Chiefs have shown that with Patrick Mahomes, who has a legendary coach and tight end to help him. The Commanders had a bad year in 2023, but they have a good opportunity to get a quarterback who can change their future. There are some good prospects like Drake May and Jaden Daniels, who could be the next big thing. I think Drake May might be the best choice for the Commanders, but I also know that they have a lot of other problems to fix. They lost a lot of games and gave up a lot of points last season. They only beat the Patriots once in week nine, and after that, they let their opponents score 27 or more points in every game. That shows that they have a weak defense. One of the biggest mistakes they made in 2023 was trading away their best defensive players, Montez Sweat and Chase Young, who are doing great with their new teams. That left the commanders with a big hole in their defense, but they also had a chance to fill it. They have a lot of money to spend, so they can try to sign some of the best pass rushers in the market. Chase Young probably won't come back after he was traded, but the commanders can still improve their defense, either by signing free agents or drafting good players. The commanders have a lot of work to do in the offseason, but they also have a lot of potential. They can use their draft picks and their money wisely and get a new quarterback and a better defense. They can also get a new coach who can lead them to success. The next season could be the start of a new era for the commanders, one where they can stop being losers and start being winners. The commanders need to improve their defense, but they also need to work on other parts of their team. One of the things they should focus on is their offensive line, which protects their quarterback and helps their running game. They have six picks in the top 102 and three in the top 40, which means they have a lot of options to get better players. They could even trade some of their picks to get a higher pick and get one of the best offensive linemen in the draft. I think that would be a smart move for the commanders. They shouldn't settle for small improvements, but go for big ones. The difference between the late first round picks and the early second round picks might not be huge, but the top 15 picks are usually the ones who have the most talent and potential. They stand out from the rest. This draft strategy could help the commanders fix three of their biggest problems. Quarterback, pass rush, and offensive line, all in one off season. It's a risky move, but it could pay off big time. They don't have to aim for the Super Bowl in 2024, but they have to build a strong foundation for the future. The Commanders were far from being a great team last season. They played poorly, especially in the last part of the year. They needed to get better in every aspect of the game. They tried hard in some games against tough teams like the Eagles, but they were outmatched. They have to make some smart decisions in the offseason to change that. But before we go on, I want to remind you guys to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. I make a lot of NFL videos in the offseason and you don't want to miss them. Let's try to get 50 likes on this video. Now back to the topic. The commanders have to come out of this draft and free agency period with not only a new quarterback, but also a better team overall. They don't have to win it all in one season, but they have to make sure they don't end up in the same situation again. Having high draft picks every year means that something is wrong with the team and the commanders want to avoid that. For 2024, the goal is to build a team that can show some progress and some promise. They have to get a quarterback who can be their leader for a long time and make sure he has a good team around him. The commanders want to forget about the 2023 season and start a new chapter, one that has a brighter future and not make the same mistakes that teams like the Texans have made. This offseason is very important for the Commanders, and it could shape their destiny for years to come. A player that the Commanders should try to get this offseason is Mike Evans, the star wide receiver from the Buccaneers. He is a great player who can catch almost anything, run fast and smooth, and score a lot of touchdowns. The Commanders have a lot of money to spend, 
so they can afford to sign a player like Evans, especially with their new management and leadership. The Commanders have a chance to make a big change this offseason. They need to get better in many areas, but especially in the pass rush, the quarterback, and the receivers. They can do that by getting some good players in free agency and the draft. One player that could make a huge difference is Mike Evans, the star receiver from the Buccaneers. He could be a great fit for the Commander's new offense and start a new era of Commander football. Let's talk about some other free agents that could help the Commanders. Mike Evans is very exciting, but he also needs a good contract that won't hurt the team if he doesn't play well. But he has been very good for a long time, so I don't think that will happen. The idea is to give the Commander's new quarterback, who they will probably pick with the second pick in the draft, some good weapons to work with in the NFL. One of those weapons could be a big receiver like Evans, who can catch anything in the air. He would also help the offensive and defensive lines, which the Commanders could improve in the draft. Another position that the Commanders should look at is the tight end. But they might not have enough time or money to do that this offseason. They have a lot of other things to fix first, like the offensive line and the defense. Jatavion Sanders from Texas is a good tight end, but he might be too expensive to draft. The commanders need to focus on the most important positions first. The most important thing is to protect the new quarterback and help him grow. It's hard to find good offensive linemen in free agency, so the commanders should try to trade up in the draft and get one of the best ones. They also need to work on their cornerback position, which they have been trying to do with Emmanuel Forbes. But they don't have to stick with him if they find someone better. They should keep Kendall Fuller and look for more cornerbacks in the draft. Some people are not happy about Dan Quinn being the new coach, but we have to give him a chance and hope he does well. The commanders have a plan to build a balanced team with good players in free agency and the draft. They have to make sure the new quarterback is safe and has a lot of options to throw to. That's how they can become a better team in the NFL. One thing that I like about the Commander's plan is that they have split the roles between Dan Quinn and Cliff Kingsbury. Quinn will take care of the defense and Kingsbury will run the offense. That way, they can each focus on what they do best and bring some balance and expertise to the team. Kingsbury didn't do so well with the Cardinals, but he knows a lot about offense and he could help the new quarterback. The best scenario for the Commanders this offseason would be to get Drake May and an offensive tackle in the draft without giving up too much. If they can't get Mike Evans in free agency, they could get some other good receivers like Adonai Mitchell or Keon Coleman, who could be good targets for May. They also need to get some good pass rushers in free agency who can help the team stop the other teams from scoring. The Commanders had a bad season in 2023, and their stats show it. They were low in points per game, and high in turnovers. They need to do better in 2024 and aim for the top 20 in both categories. They don't have to win a lot of games, but they have to show some progress. The next few months are very important for building a new and better Commanders team. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Commanders videos this offseason. And please take care of yourself and have a great day. Your support means a lot to us.